you guys uh, big news in the world of science of herd management. Uh, the community manager, uh, Michael, has given uh, some of the updates of uh, how some of the mechanics of herd management work. Well, previously he's uh, given lots of details on it, uh, but the mechanic I'm referring to is the one I've done a few videos ago, or I keep sort of doing a little bit when we did our uh, herd management test. Uh, we now have a, a bit of an explanation of uh, what happens uh, when you do what I did. So we'll get into that, uh, but first I do want to get a little bit of a hunt on the way, and uh, right now we've got uh, inventory here. It's super light, just the Gavi, no sight, and binoculars. Uh, I've got to go up to Cape Buffalo, see how the flu flu arrows do against uh, the buffalo up here. Uh, to see if the Gavi is really the one weapon to rule them all. Okay, and while we look for some Cape Buffalo, I'll go over uh, the information. So, uh, another brief recap of summary. Uh, we've been, we've always known that the, the herd fitness, right, and you're managing, see the savanna here, uh, is the average herd fitness of all the species within that habitat. Uh, so if you call the low fits, then apparently uh, you'll get more high fits because the new the newborn ones roll the dice on their fitness based on a bell curve average of uh, of the overall um, habitat's uh, fitness. So I, I've kind of gone through this a whole lot before. A lot of us already sort of understand all that, uh, but that is the the basics of it. And the experiment was what happens if you go really uh, hard and challenge the system uh, by removing all the low fits and um, all in one single year so the next year uh, you get you know you have a really high average and then what happens when that when you when you do that and what happens is basically uh, you end up wrecking your herd somehow and we don't really wreck wreck, or wreck them they kind of reset and they go back um, you get a whole bunch of low fit spawns and this just hasn't just happened to me it's happened to, to others and uh, so my hypothesis was looks like the game's got some fail safe in there or some game balancing check to make sure you cannot uh, uh, wreck your fitness in your in your habitats either too high or too low it just sort of makes sense and I've, I've sort of explained this in, in the recent videos so you can certainly check out some more detailed explanation there uh, but um, yeah the community manager he gave us some info that we've never heard before uh, so I'm just going to pull that up now uh, while we uh, Oop, I just spooked them. <laughs> I've been <laughs> playing, um, I started playing another hunting game for a second, and I think uh, it's <laughs> it's kind of changed how I'm running things here. Because I think I'm on hiker. Am I on hiker difficulty? I think I am. Oh well, I'll go after them. No biggie. Uh, let me just pull up the info here. Okay, so without further ado, this is the, the new info that we've never actually specifically got before. Uh, so there is a cap on how many high fitness males there can be in a habitat at a time. If they all survive until the next year, which was my scenario, uh, I had no low fits, just all the high fits survive until the next year. Uh, so, But all the low fit males have been called, the new spawns will fill the missing slots. And the high and high mid slots are all filled up from the previous year. So that uh, statement there is actually really big because we haven't actually had um, that sort of information before. Uh, it's always been, uh, it is just based on the average fitness and, and that's all. And uh, now they've also saying it's the median, not the average anymore. But as far as like the bell curve is concerned, it doesn't really change the fact if you call it a median or, or the average. Um, but it does a little bit because if you use the median, it's no longer using the average. It's using this. It makes it makes the middle point a little bit more arbitrary because it's a median. Uh, I, in this situation, I think, because the game, the game's now, in, in a lack of a better way of explaining this, in that scenario, the game's sort of ignoring the herd management and uh, moving the median to where it needs to be. Um, but it, it's doing that, uh, filling in slots, as uh, as Michael put it. So there's still a bit of confusion there, and uh, uh, yeah, I, can, I might look at a bit more of the conversation going in the video there, because he's talking about caps and, and limits and things like that, and then he sort of 
saying it's not a cap, but there's a limit, so it's <laughs> the wording's kind of vague. But I, I don't want to just go crazy on trying to interpret everything, right? Because the developers definitely uh, keep things uh, keep things vague on a purpose. But uh, that is, we've never heard of that before. So my uh, my conclusion to what I seen is, I'm always like, oh, as soon as it happened to me uh, with that test taking out all the low fits within a single year so doing a nice hard uh aggressive quick call uh all of a sudden boom i get all these low fits all over the place i'm like i, I was thinking about it, i'm like oh, of course the game's got i was calling it a fail save but it's it's not really a, a, a good term for it um just it, the game's balancing itself it's making sure you can't get your your herds too low fitness or too high um so and of course they're going to implement some kind of check like that into the game I just never occurred to me um, that it was that it was like because we never we never been really told that. Uh, so, so that's basically what happened is I had a bunch of high fits, or everything was like all the animals are high fit. They were left, so all those slots were taken. So the game essentially, from my understanding of that, ignored. Um, well, I'm getting some Cape Buffalo coming out here. Uh, ignored the median I had set. So basically. If we're using the term median now, I think the default median is 55%. I had pushed it probably above 75%. So when it respawned new animals, it essentially ignored that median and then put in the animals it needed to. Uh, but anyways, just so you know, I wanted to get that information out there. I might uh, hunt these guys and take a look back in Discord see what else is going on there. Uh, but um, that makes a lot of sense. Like, I, I knew there was, after I'd seen that, I knew there was going to be some kind of check in there to make sure you can't, you know, take advantage of the, the median. Oh, the wind. I didn't even check the wind. I've been talking too much. Uh, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna go around these guys, go wide here. Somehow i got to get within uh, flu flu arrow range here. Because uh, I got reminded from a, from a viewer there. Oh, look, they're running with the wind. You buggers. You know what I should do? I should give up on those guys because I don't think there's. It's going to take too long to to go around them. I like the color difference here. Is there anything exciting here? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, that's fine. Um, what I'm going to do here in this case is I'm going to go here and I'm going to come in from from the north since the wind is obviously. Well, the wind's going this way, so this is actually what I should do in the first place. There. I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna use the toolbox or anything like that. Uh, ever since the herd management information or my test there and the change, I've sort of really stepped back from the herd management. Um, again, to summarize, the slow herd management, the sort of passive one, it does work. Uh, it does shift the median over, and then. But since you're doing it slowly, I don't think the game. Like, you're not hitting any sort of cap on, you know, how many high fits and low fits you can have. So it goes over slowly, and you, and you do over time see an improvement. So that's pretty much confirmed. That is working. I've had lots of people confirm that, and I've seen it myself um, just by playing a year. And like those mule deer in the grasslands, I had uh, I had been uh, calling and managing slowly for, like, since the game's release. And uh, it, they definitely were improving over time. But you can't, you can't make a, a big vast improvement or decline all in one the, the game will fix it for you so um i just want to say i just want to get that info out there that uh sort of that hypothesis turns out it looks like it is correct the game's got more going on than just uh just the average fitness or the median fitness uh determining everything which it makes sense as i've sort of was talking about in other videos they wouldn't want a, a mechanic in place that kind of wrecks everybody's herds uh so yeah i wanted to get that info out there uh, so I will uh, take a peek over in Discord just to see, because that com that comment from uh, the community manager uh, created a bit of a stir, so there's <laughs> some clarification going on and stuff like that. Uh, but everybody that's uh, so passionate about the herd management in the game. And, uh, yeah, so I'll check on that, and then I'll I'll find a, a group of Cape Buffalo to see what we do with these uh, flu flu arrows. Oh, there's some right here. Just kind of stumbled upon them. They're on the other side of the, this, uh, these trees here. So they're yelling at me, so that gave them away. We got a four-star mature. And, oh, I might use the toolbox here, because maybe we'll see if we can turn him into a five-star. We might as well have a little bit of fun here. 
Um, I no longer have my calendar set or anything like that. Uh, but I do want to see what what group this is. Who am I looking at here? Which one are you? This one? Or this one? Ah, oh, man, they're, they're kind of... Oh, wait, noon. What are they doing at noon? They're resting, right? Yeah. Okay, so I, I want to I wanna make sure I know... Um, no. Oh, they should be... What's going on? One o'clock? No, they should be drinking. Did they already move to the rest zone? <laughs> wait, am I getting confused here? Okay, Buffalo. Nine. Yeah, the nine drink time. One o'clock. It's noon. You guys should be... You guys should be drinking. Is there, is there water here that I don't know about? These aren't the guys I spooked, right? No. What are you guys do, doing up here already? Maybe, maybe that little... That little, uh, lake there? Okay, so... Uh, we can take one here. I might... I might just run them out of there. I want to see what need zone they're at. I'm going to run them out of there, because I'm, I'm just going to bring them back. I'm going to age that four star. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, there's a three star there, too. Am I getting charged at all, or are they just going to run? Okay, that's fine. We'll get the flu flu shot in. Don't you worry. What is there? There's a zone right here, so who... Are they off their, uh, their timetable? A rarely resting zone. Well, okay. They got here early then? Weird. Like they, I have noticed a few things like that. Like the times are just not what I thought they were. Like, well, not, they are what I thought they were, but they, they used to be more on a schedule, like, tighter to it. And this is, this is way too early to the rest zone. Interesting. All right, so what we'll do is... Oh, we're going to fast travel here because I know it's this guy. See, I kind of wish that... Uh, I know we don't have... Like, I know we have the toolbox, but, man, the developers could let us mark these guys at least somehow. Let me put some kind of mark around here, just temporarily, so I, I know which one I'm dealing with this session. I know I can make it yellow, but um, I guess we'll keep it yellow. Um... But uh, I want to check this drink zone, too, because I might just be able to teleport them back here. And then uh, easily check their age, right? But I think this is a rare drink zone. Yeah, I think so. Jump! Yeah, okay. So this is this is the herd I want, but it's just their, their rare drink zone, so... I should, uh, we should actually open up the toolbox uh, to locate their other zones. And look at this. There's a zone right in the camp. Who's this one? Oh, it's a goose. Yeah, of course it is. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to mark their their other zones and pick them up probably. Oh yeah, this was a trick here too. If you're within 100 meters of the zone, they won't spawn in. But you can, uh, you can take the camera and then go out 100 meters or so. And then they'll spawn in because the camera counts. So I, I went to the next day, drink time. <laughs> and then apparently, if you get the camera far enough away, the uh, the bison will spawn in. Okay, they don't seem to be here, though. Let's just double check and make sure that's the case. I'll, I'll just drive away for just a second. I gotta like the new maps with the... Uh, with the parking here. And it just makes things so much nicer. You got storage everywhere. And you can grab a UTV whenever you need it. Well, I think it's out here, isn't it? Where's the sign again? Is it out here? Yes. Alright, let's grab green one. <clears throat> and I'm gonna drive away. And then come back. Just make sure that they're not there. I don't know if the camera trick works. This apparently it does. <clears throat> so I should be, uh, I should be 100, mi or 100 meters away by now. 
Just make sure they didn't come into this drink zone. And I'll go check them out in the next one. Yeah, okay. They're not here. So, uh, so I've got the zones I don't have up there. And, oh, there's, there's more right here. Uh oh There's, there was another group right here, I think. Or I was seeing rock, maybe? Who was I seeing? Oh no, I thought I, thought, I, thought I seen you. Here, get going there. And I'll just take a look and see if there's any great big horns in the pile. No, there's not. Uh, there's this guy and the one on the left. It's just two star doll, three star mature. Okay, nothing great there. Now is. Me. Which one? Which one is it? It's this guy here. How come they keep spawning out there? Oh no, it must be. There must be a drink zone here. Oh, okay, it's gonna be these guys that I'm seeing. It's like, I'm not, they, their need zones are all close together. Right? So if I'm there... Yeah, okay. So, well, I might as well scan these guys all over here. And then... Man, there's so many. This is the spot... Oh, this is the ones I just spooked. Uh, this is the spot where the game can crash if you get too many of them running. But yeah, this has turned into a, a flu flu of five star. That guy looks large, but he's only three star. Okay, there's another four star. I got four stars all over the place. Okay, so which one's this? This guy. Okay, so we can age this guy. And then apparently the group I need is this one and their zone's down here. Okay, so remember that. This one and this one. <laughs> one of these should go five star, hopefully. And then I want to check out uh, this. Okay, I don't want to spook these guys this way. I really don't need this game to crash. Or... Wait. This is the drink zone. Are you the ones with my four star in it? No. Can I just spook these guys? Maybe my four star died? Isn't that the guy I just spooked? I'm so confused. Where's the herd? <laughs> That's at the drink zone. That was the one I spooked into it. So, if that was the one I spooked into it, where in the world's the one that's supposed to be here? Yeah, this guy. Unless that was them. Alright, we'll do some more playing around with time. Try and locate these guys. Like, are they over here? There's so many Cape Buffalo mingling together, it's uh, quite challenging. Look at all these animals. You can't go, can't go two feet without having to spot something. Three star mature. You don't want to, you don't want to miss a big five star. Five hundred. Okay. So it looks like. Oh. So who, okay, are these the guys I spooked? So maybe my four star died. Come back here, guys. All right. Okay, so maybe he died there. All right, so we've got this zone now. Uh, let's go to their rest zone. And we'll mark that here. So we'll go back. Uh, go into the rest time and see if they're there. Cause that could have been them, I guess. Ooh, the texture's not loading in or something? Gee. That's weird. Uh, okay. Uh, so 1 o'clock, 141.
There. No herd management needed in the uh, private lands. They just spit out five stars. You just have to grow them. <laughs> there isn't too much herd management you can do here at all. I mean, you can try to get the low fit ones out, but there's no. It's really hard to tell because almost none of them go one star mature. And then there's no collar or anything for these guys. All right. So they should have teleported to this rest zone here. But this is a rare one. If they're not here, I'll go to the other one because I want to pick it up as well. Always lots to do in the game. They are not here. Okay, so I have a bit of a drive then. Uh, because there are other rest zones way down here to the south. All right. So we'll is that the drink hole? No. So which one is this then? I get so confused with all these Cape Buffaloes. I mean if you want if you need money, just come here. And we used to used to take the 16 gauge, right? You can't do that anymore. Alright, let's go. Oh yeah, let's go pick up this rest zone, because they're probably here. Okay, let's see here. Whoa! Hello. Oh my, am I going to crash the game? Oh, yeah, roar. Look at all these guys. Man, you can just... Oh, did they all run too? Look at all, yeah. Oh, hello you. Uh-huh. So, I knew you guys were going to be here. Am I getting run over, or just... I don't see any monsters coming through there. Alright, where's my, uh... My UTV? That was a lot of spooking, though. I'm kind of surprised the game didn't crash. Eh? Maybe they did a fix? Oh, yeah. I love Way of the Hunter. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> I just want to see them again, like, I, I want to see the herd, to see if the four stars actually in here. Is that too much to ask? Okay, there they go. Now they're out of range, of course. Alright, I just need to see, I don't need to walk right up to you at the moment. Alright, give me a second then. I know I'm sprinting. Alright, I want this video to be under 30 minutes, so I might just bow one of these guys. <laughs> I get the 5 star later. Hello, buddy. What are you? One star mature. No time for you. Didn't bring any collars. Didn't bring a rifle. Okay, so that's where they stopped. Okay, so I can sneak up over this hill here, and then we'll just... See if any come out to to check on us, and the wind will be good, so I should be able to get a good a flu flu arrow shot here. Oh look at that! There is a one star mature. Wow. He'd be the target. Problem is he's going to be on the other side of all these guys, isn't he? Uh, where is everybody else? Why is he up there on his own? Is he a solo? How come he's so separate? Well, I bet he's a different herd then. He's just a solo one. Okay. Well, that'll make it easier then. We'll just go get that guy. But I do want to take a peek here. Just to see... What's in this group. Because this was the... Uh, yeah, I know the wind blowing at you. Go the other way then. Don't go towards him. Everything's so young in that, yeah. Okay, so that four star died. 
Or is this the... <laughs> there's, there's so many. <laughs> Just bring your biggest rifle. You can have hamburgers for days. Okay, so they're going away. That's fine. We'll come up to this guy here. All right. Yeah. So back to the herd management stuff. Moral. Moral of the story is it's the same moral as we had before. Do slow and steady herd management if you want to do it. If not, it's optional. Uh, just be aware if you go too hard at it and too crazy at it, uh, then the game will not allow you to get your fitness too high. In in my words, not the devs. <laughs> but that's basically how they have it set up. What's the range here? 50 meters. Bow up. Because we're just going to use the hunter since dot. Uh, and he's coming this way, so that works. Except he's going to be dipping down here. Okay. Just need him to turn. I think I have the hunter sense dot turned on. Yeah, let's do 30 meters. So we get a nice little glowy dot. Perfect. We can crouch. Flu flu uh, versus. Okay, buffalo. Brain shot. Okay, flu flu versus Cape Buffalo. <laughs> How'd that work? Did it work or not? Oh, yep, it worked. He's down. He's gonna go down. All right, perfect. We got pink blood. There you go. The Gavi flu flu arrow. May, it might say tier one through four, but it's a it's a tier one through everything. Whoa! Oh. I don't really want to chase anymore. Maybe I'll run. Okay. Uh, the arrows do take a really long time to take them down, though. But I guess the, these days the bullets do as well. Uh, so there's no way I'm going to lose tracking of him. Alright, did I get this all? Okay, so I'm going to give him some time. I will pop into Discord, uh, just on their official Discord, uh, real quick, just to see if there's been any updates I'm missing. So yeah, um, I'm just reading through Discord, <laughs> getting sort of the live updates while I do the video. The video will be probably 24 hours, like this little all happened yesterday, I think, by the time it goes. Depends when I plop up the video here. Uh, but it does seem kind of confusing uh, would they do it. But that, that first statement, I think that's the most important one that uh, that, that game's going to fill in what it's missing to make sure it doesn't it doesn't break itself, right? Uh, but there's a couple things he said here. It basically, he says you can extend the cap by increasing the median. Uh... So maybe it's not a hard cap, maybe it's a little flexible, and then the median sets the cap? That kind of makes sense. That kind of makes sense. Uh, that actually does make sense with what people are seeing. Uh, with that low, with that with that slow herd management stuff. Uh, because if you're, you're just moving the median slowly, then it's probably adding a cap or two on either side. Uh, so that I can see that working. But there's probably a cap for the cap, right? <laughs> Anyways, uh, and then um, the curve stays the same. It just shifts left or right and it's entirely. So the curve is um, the bell curve. So I take it that's the shape of the bell curve stays the same. It just shifts left or right. Interesting. Uh, there's definitely some science still going on like that, and it and it looks like it's uh, the results aren't necessarily always looking the same. But I guess that may be different. Uh, I don't know where this guy went. Yeah, let me keep checking. It's kind of funny actually keeping up with it while the conversation just happened not too long ago. Because <laughs> they're ta he's talking about caps, like the way that are limits, like we said there. And then um, they start questioning, the, the people in the Discord start questioning, like getting clarification on it. 
And then basically now he's just repeating what he said before, that it's a bell curve, so you get some low, some high. <laughs> then if, so it's just, it's like, oh, here's a bombshell sort of explanation. And then to clarify, I'm just, we're just going to say what we've always been saying. <laughs> so there's some, uh, some confusion there on it. Um, I'm just summing it up here. You can increase the lowest end and increase the amount of those on the highest end. Uh, in that scenario, every animal... Yeah, no, that doesn't really... That's basically... Sorry, I'm just sort of reading and sorting through in my head, but it's uh, it's basically what they've always said before that statement. So he's clarifying with the info we already knew, which doesn't match the cap stuff. Ah, man. I'm still... Oh, there, there's, there's the down buffalo. I'm still going to go with that first one, I think... I think there's just too much confusion with how people are interpreting the language being used. Um, and I, I get the impression from the conversation uh, that Michael th thought that cap information, that first quote I had there, was known, I guess. And no, it wasn't. <laughs> Not that it fills in the slots. Um, anyways, um, that was a very important statement that we've never, we never heard. So let me pick this guy up and keep checking here. So it's not a, a hard cap, it's just a limit, not a preset number. So that's okay. So that still jives with, with what I said, it's just the, it looks like the cap moves. But it's still not super clear. But but yeah, the, the moral of the story is that that game's going to fix itself, by, by it sounds like, because uh, we've definitely seen that. Yeah, okay, so that's all the info. So uh, just to recap, herd management slow works. Herd management fast does not work, and uh, that conversation was there's a limit, but to explain the limit uh, on that first quote, uh, they just explained it by the information we already had. So, <laughs> anyways, but I think uh, yeah, I think there's something definitely going on there to fix that. So don't focus too hard on the herd management, like going really really crazy on it. Uh, just do just do this the slow pace kind of stuff. But let's check out this uh, the flu flu arrow here. And yeah, I thought it was shot back a little bit, but still did fine. Just still did a fine job. Did it even come out the other side of the lung? I mean, oh, it did come out the other side of the lung. You know, it just barely got out the other side. All right, cool. So flu flu, uh, can definitely take that guy down. Fifty two percent. 840. Perfect. All right. Well, I won't keep going on about that. Um, I just, um, it's just, it's just an interesting thing, the game and the communication. <laughs> uh, I mean, I get the impression that, uh, uh, Michael thought that information was known about that, uh, that, the, uh, cap stuff that I posted earlier in the thing, and no, that, that's not ever come up. <laughs> it's never been revealed. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll stop going on about it. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully uh, that helps somebody out there. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Happy hunting, guys. Take care.